how do you know if you have carpal tunnel syndrome? The nerve will be pinched in the wrist and you will lose sensation in the thumb, the first finger, the middle finger, and half of the ring finger. Very often patients will come into my office and say, Dr. Story, I have carpal tunnel. And I'll say, where do you hurt? And they'll just grab their wrist right here and say it hurts right there. That's not carpal tunnel syndrome. The only reason they said they have carpal tunnel syndrome is because they think wrist pain equals carpal tunnel syndrome. It's the only diagnosis they know, so therefore they call everything carpal tunnel syndrome. But very often, because of the slower metabolism at night, you'll very often get more tingling and burning sensations in this part of your hand. Sometimes people sleep like this too, so any type of bending of the wrist forward like this will very often exacerbate and pinch off that nerve. So guess what? A good test is to actually take your hand, press it down like this, and hold it for a minute. If your symptoms start to increase in that part of your hand, it's very likely you have carpal tunnel syndrome. Now when patients come in and say they have pain in the wrist, another test would be to have them put their wrist backwards like this. Very often, if a patient has their wrist back like this and it causes pain, that is a mid-carpal, or mi the middle joints of the wrist, are jamming as they're trying to bend, and very often an adjustment will help that. If the person hurts when they bend forward like that without the numbness tingling and burning into their hand, very often that's a carpal misalignment up higher. Both of those respond well to adjustments. We have specific protocols that we follow when we do adjustments for the carpal tunnel syndrome, but those are three distinct problems that people can get in their wrist that can become painful. But only carpal tunnel syndrome will actually give you the numbness, the tingling, the burning, and remember, it's only half of the ring finger. So if you're getting numbness or any tingling into the little finger at all, you have to think higher upstream up to the neck. Also, there's another nerve that goes through here, and if you're only getting it in your finger, your little finger, that's not carpal tunnel syndrome either. Actually, that's called ulnar tunnel syndrome. So hopefully this was informative to you. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to answer them.